This is us, this is us, this is us It sure has been a while, hasn't it? If you count three months as a while. Hey guys, Bonds, welcome back to a another amazing video. Back at it again. With internet making stuff. It's a person like revving the engine outside. I think your car will start without you having to wake up the entire neighborhood. Anyways, today is not going to be an average video by me. It's not a commentary video, and it sure was not a Dangus Tits episode. It's just a regular, regular song review, because this song is not a meme, and I'm definitely not going to think it's going to be a meme in the foreseeable future, so I'm just going to assume that this is a regular review that will in no way be changed or dated at all. Today we're talking about Sick Boy by The Chainsmokers. It was released... Around a week ago at the time of this recording, people seem to have a very mixed reaction about the Chainsmokers. Some people think that they're the gods of music and some others hate them and hate everything that they do. I'm slightly in the middle, more towards the latter. I like some of the songs, I don't like most of their songs, but Sick Boy just kind of came out of nowhere and sucked more than their songs usually do. People have been comparing the song to the styles of 21 Pilots or like Imagine Dragons or something and I can see both of those but you know those people actually know what they're doing most of the time and the chain smokers kind of aren't the people that do that. Let's go over why this song sucks and why I should be talking about it more than making another Dankest Hits episode, because I know that's what you guys want. We can pick sides, but this is us, this is us, this is... This is kind of a smaller point, but the song is a very big change in their style. You know the kind of songs that the Chainsmokers make, the generic love songs with the beat drops and all that stuff. This one does kind of do that stuff, but it isn't like a love song, and as people have stated, is a 21 Pilots esque song. It isn't necessarily a really bad thing, it's just they could have eased into it more, you know? Like, there wasn't like this gritty reality song next to it. Like, all of the songs are just in the generic style that they usually do, and then this song just came out of nowhere. Don't just have these abrupt changes in style, okay? Sick boy. Sick boy. Sick boy. Sick boy. Secondly, there's a lot of repetition in the song. I haven't counted but there's not that many lines in this song that aren't reused in the song somewhere. Like, if you listened to, like, the first 45 seconds of this song, you, prob you most likely would have heard everything that it had to offer, because all the repetition starts with the first verse in the chorus because it's just three separate versions of that first verse in the chorus. There are some uh, great specific phrases that do get repeated a lot in the song, like, uh, hey, lead singer of Chainsmokers, what side of America are you from? Side of America. What do they say you are? They say you What's that line you wrote that's supposed to sound deep but instead and sounds forced and stupid? You see what I mean? All this stuff is just repeated and it isn't even that well written of stuff. If you're gonna repeat stuff, don't repeat it ad nauseum to the amount that this song does. And make sure that your writing is good enough so that people can look past all the repetition. And I'm from the east side of America When we are sensitized by hysteria Speaking of repetition, when I first heard this song When when the first drop happened I heard this drum sound By hysteria And I don't know why, but it just clicked in my mind Just like, where was that coming from? I know it happened somewhere else in my life, but I couldn't figure out where that drum sound came from. And then I looked through the backlog, and I found out that they reused the entire drums from Closer. I know it breaks your heart, and we can pick sides, but this is us. You can compare the two. They're exactly the same, besides some tempo changes. They are 
exactly the same drum MIDI set. Usually when people reuse stuff they try to make it so that there's a different spin up, but no, it's literally the exact same drum line. And lastly, I don't think that they really know what they're talking about because the message in this song is supposed to be something about like America is divided and we have to make sh make it better or something, but they kind of don't get that message across very well. First off, it isn't that subtle with the type of message it's trying to convey. The sick boys from both sides of America? I, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. And then we have the line I mentioned earlier. Yeah, that that one, yeah. It's trying to convey a different message of, oh, everyone's so attached to their phones recently and stuff, uh. But that wasn't the intention of the song. You've built up all of this stuff about d divided America or something, and then you randomly throw in something about people being obsessed with phones. Does that add to your point? No, it does. Why did you put it in? Why? Trying to make a point, you got to stick to the point. You can't just have multiple points that don't connect in any way. But that's really all I gotta say about it. It doesn't know what it's talking about, and it's obviously is kind of lazily created, so it's just not that good of a song. If I had to rate it, I would give it an It Sucks out of 10. Anyways, that's it. Hopefully normal videos continue soon. I'll see you all in the next video, and goodbye.